Hi everyone, this is Professor Mayunga and you are watching Uda Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers, this is our 23rd exercise and we will be modeling this one using Autodesk Fusion 360. We are having a 5 different views. This is the top view, this is front and this is the side one. Excluding that one, we are having two different views. This is the isometric one and this is section views, right? So from these different views, it is clear that it is better to start from the top view only. So initially we'll make the this base part and that will be extruded with different depths, right? So without wasting time, let us start our modeling using Autodesk Fusion 360. Right? First of all, we need to create a new design and that to be saved by the name of exercise 23 and we can save it to a specific folder by the name of fusion let us save this one you can see exercise 23 is already saved as mentioned earlier it will be better to start from top plane so starting with top plane and let us see the drawing for initiating this one the shape of this one is like a slot so Initially, we can make a slot of diameter 40 millimeter and the distance between the centers is 60 millimeter. So, create slot, it will be center point slot. You can start from here, now we can press smart dimension to this one. The distance between the centers is 60 millimeter and the radius is 20 millimeter. Done. Let us see the drawing again. This part is made already. Now, inside this one, we need to make some other holes. This hole is having diameter 20 millimeter, and here we are having two different holes of diameter 20, and also you can see 16 millimeter, right. So if you see the base, it is having two cycles of diameter 20 and 16, right? We'll draw it again, starting with cycle, here it will be 20 millimeter and this one is 16 millimeter. That's for a smart dimension to this one, this is 20 millimeter, done. You can see the drawing is completely black, so all the dimensions are fully defined and also we need to draw one specific line because this line is equal from the center at a distance of 20 millimeter we need to draw one line right so starting with line at any arbitrary position and the distance of this one from the center will be 20 millimeter done drawing is complete so finish the sketch and we need to extrude this one to a specific depth, right? Let us see how much to be extruded. We need to extrude this one to define depths. Initially, we need to extrude this one by a depth of 10 millimeter. And again, this needs to be extruded further by 40 millimeter because total from here to here is 50 millimeter. Initially, we are extruding this one by 10 millimeter. Again, we need to extrude this one by 40 millimeter, right? So starting with extrusion, select the specific areas and we need to extrude this one by 10 millimeter done design your body again at this location we need to extrude this one by 40 millimeter again so what can do is we can select the previous body let us select that specific body this is selected and we need to extrude this one by 50 millimeter it will be actually added with the previous body we are not considering this one a new body right so again we need to extrude this one by a depth of 50 millimeter it will be extruded from bottom only and the operation it will be joining by 50 millimeter done can make the sketch hidden so this is our first body now let's see the drawing again you can see here we need to provide a fillet of radius 5 millimeter you can see here 
that fillet radius we provided here right so select that edge and you can provide fillet of radius 5 millimeter done now at this location also we need to draw some concentric circles select the space and we need to draw two circles they will be concentric circles of diameter 16 and 20 millimeter we didn't provide dimensions of this one so let us provide smart dimension to this one this is 20 millimeter and this one is 16 millimeter done dimensions are fully defined so it can be extruded again to a further depth of 5 millimeter let us see the drawing again you can see this one can be extruded to a depth of 5 millimeter because this is 15 and this is 10 so this extruded depth is 5 millimeter okay again after extrusion we need to provide a fillet of radius 2 at this location right so finish the sketch and you can start extrusion select the specific area that to be extruded to a depth of 5 millimeter we are joining this one with the parent body done now we need to provide a fillet radius of 2 millimeter at these edges select that edge starting with fillet and radius of fillet will be 2 millimeter done fillet radius is made already right you can see this one let us see the drawing again what we need to do now we need to start from side views that means from this side we need to provide a hole you can see the distance from here to here is actually 5 millimeter from here 5 millimeter away we need to create one plane and from here 55 millimeter away we need to create another plane we need to create two planes at here and here right so from here 5 millimeter away in the right hand side we are creating one plane done again we need to create another plane so construct offset plane from here in the negative direction 55 millimeter away so we can write the distance to be minus 55 okay done two planes we have created and what we have to do is on these planes we need to sketch something right so what we'll do is click that specific pen and start sketching on that one you can see the drawing we need to draw a hole right so from here actually from down it will be at a distance of 30 millimeter or from top it will be at a distance of 20 millimeter we need to create a hole of internal diameter 15 and external diameter 22 millimeter right first of all we'll create one construction line or we can say central line line is made now we need to create a hole at any specific location right first of all we can provide the hole at any arbitrary position two holes are needed and the diameters of this one will be let us see the diameters it will be 22 millimeter and 15 millimeter and the center of this one will be 20 millimeter from the top so we can provide smart dimension the distance from here to this one will be 20 millimeter and the diameters will be 16 and 22 millimeter this one will be 22 millimeter and this one will be 16 millimeter you can see that one now we need to extrude this one right so let us finish the drawing and you can start extrusion from here let us select the specific surface and that to be extruded in the opposite direction and in the distance it will be to object let us select the object here done now the same operation to be started from here so what we'll do is we can select that specific pen and we can start sketching on that and in this case we'll do some operation can have a projection of the previous drawing on this plane let us select the previous geometry and that we projected in this plane right 
so we can select the previous geometry this is the previous geometry done you can see this geometry is already projected in this plan right now we can finish the sketch and that to be extruded so starting from extrusion select that specific areas and that to be extruded up to this curve surface so from distance we can select up to object let us select that curve surface it is done and we are joining this one with the plane body okay done now the thing is it should be through hole you can see from here you cannot see some hole is there inside right for doing that what we will do is let us select that space here and start sketching on that and we can apply a projection of the previous one let us project this inner circle only done so we have already made this one and that to be cut throughout this one okay so finish the sketch and we need to start extrusion from here because we need to remove material so select the specific area and it will be extruded in the negative direction and from distance you can select all and in operation it will cut material so done you can see it it is through right it is not complete again because we need to for some kind of fillets at a different locations also let us see the drawing again you can see here like we need to provide a fillet of radius 5 at this location and here also we need to provide a fillet of radius 2 here down and here in both cases we need to provide fillet of radius 5 and here radius 2 right so you can select this edge and we need to provide fillet of radius 5 exactly same way we need to provide some fillet radius at this edge also so select that edges and on that edge we need to provide a fillet of radius 2 millimeter done so our object is ready right this is our model to have a better view you can provide this one to a metallic appearance so hit a and from here you can select different materials let us select brass and we'll be providing polish brass right this is good enough right let us close it so this is our model this was a very simple model and we initiated this model from the base we have drawn the base part and that was extruded with different depths initially we extruded this one by 10 millimeter and this part was extruded again by 50 millimeter after doing that one on this face we have provided this circle of diameter 20 and 16 millimeter and that was extruded to a depth of 5 millimeter and we provided some fillet here of radius 2 millimeter next to that we have provided some planes at this location and this location and on this plane we have made a sketch of two concentric circles of diameter 15 and 22 millimeter and that was extruded up to this face and the same drawing was projected on this plane also and we did the same operation and finally we provided a fillet of 2 millimeter at the surface and also we provided fillet of radius 5 millimeter at the top surface right so this is all about our 23rd exercise so with this one we'll conclude our today's video thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye